the face you make when you see Dana. I loaded into my expert world to get today's Let's Play video done and it was raining, which is unfortunate. And then I turned around and noticed that there was somebody at my village that I obviously never want to see here because she steals and destroys things. Now that you understand the intro, it's time to lock in and get prepared because what we're going to be doing today is a little bit more dangerous than what we did yesterday. In yesterday's video, we went ahead and collected a ton of rough ruby as well as did a nice little glitch in order to get an infinite amount of blast core or at least close to it in a different chest. So now we're going to go out on a big adventure today and get ourselves some cursed bones. So let's grab as much as we could possibly get to bring with us. I think that we are as prepared as humanly possible. We got wood and torches for some campfires. We got a bunch of arrows, 42 thermal detonators, spicy burgers, pie, shield, pickaxe, axe. We got a crossbow, our grappler. I think that we may be a little overprepared, but this is gonna be a tough time in these caves. Now, I had a lot of questions on my last video about seed number seven and really what it was. If you guys didn't know, seed number seven is just the world that you would type in when creating a brand new world in the game so for expert mode it's really nice because you can see that your grasslands area is right in between both the frostlands and dry valley so without really having to walk very much you can go in between both of these so when we end up building our base inside of the main world rather than star wars you know that we're going to be building ourselves right around these areas here and i didn't have to travel far i pretty much found a nice frostlands cave directly next to where my star wars cave is and i'm immediately starting off with a glitch to make sure that i don't freeze or get too cold in here by stacking four campfires on top of this. I do have inner fire charms, so I don't really have to worry about getting freezing, but that is going to help with at least keeping the temperature down to a minimum while inside of this cave. And I was just trying to collect myself some iron bars and stuff, but I actually met Raptor inside of this cave. And if you guys didn't know, when you talk to a different villager inside of these caves, they actually are a little bit stronger. So inside of a Frostlands cave, my guy Raptor is gonna have even more health, and that's going to make sure that he stays alive a lot longer. If I were to bring a Grasslands villager along with me, he would die extremely quick. Now I came into these caves obviously for some iron bars, but more importantly, I wanted to find as many of those cursed bones as I possibly could. But all I'm finding is broken down shacks where it was possible that villagers remained, but now I can't find any cursed bones anywhere inside of here. It looks like these wolves are nowhere to be found. They're either afraid of me or Raptor or both, I guess. But either way, I need to find myself some cursed bones. Like, it is crazy that I just showed you guys a montage of me collecting vines and wood in order to make torches, but that's like, that's the point of the game that we're at. We need campfires for every single thing inside of these caves. We got to make sure that it's lit up so we don't get snuck up on by any enemies. And I also like to use these as markers for myself as well. Obviously, it is extremely easy to see things coming out of the floor and the walls too, but it is crazy that they added in an update and they removed the crafting bench, but then they added the fact that you need torches on everything. I truly couldn't believe it. I don't mean to complain. I just can't believe that that's the update that they chose to make. And well, 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 we found another villager spawn inside of here. Now, the key to these, if you guys didn't know, is there are little glitches and tricks with this because if I don't talk to Beck, then what that means is a new villager will spawn in here every single time that I return back to this cave, which is absolutely awesome. So I want to get myself frozen Peely or frozen fish sticks. What I need to do is keep this area here don't talk to the villager, roll with Raptor for now, and I'll take over with a better villager later on. But now you guys see why I brought so many thermal detonators with me. I was able to get my first cursed bone, which means that I get the charm of resilience, the charm of regeneration, and then also the charm of something I, for I forget what it is. I don't even think I unlocked three of them. I think I only locked two, but that made it so much easier because I could sit up top of here. I know that a cursed bone wolf or a bone wolf should spawn down here 
pretty much every single time that I leave this cave and rejoin. So I have to do that a few times just to see if that's going to work. And I came back in and that wolf isn't there. So maybe I have to run out of render distance or something and come back. But that should at least be one spawner that I know of that's going to not only give me a brand new villager every time, but I also do at least have one bone wolf in here or one bone wolf spawn inside of here that should be able to give me a ton of those as well. So after farming a decent amount out of that cave, it was time to find another one because again, we're coming for those cursed bones, not really for the iron sapphire or anything like that because it just doesn't serve as much use to us right now. So the only material that we need out of this cave right here is going to be cursed bones. So let's all pray together that we do get a few of these wolves inside of here to help us out. Yeah, this was a scary moment because I didn't even see this wolf coming up to me. Now, I spent the next 30 to 45 minutes exploring the rest of this cave. It truly is gigantic, just trying to find even more cursed bones or bone wolves, and I wasn't able to find any of them. I placed down a bunch of campfires, had to find wood to make more, the whole nine yards, and I wasn't able to find any of these cursed wolves but i want you guys to try to guess how much iron that i finished up with before i ended up leaving this cave now you guys know that i would never die in this game and i can never die in this game so if there was a death that happened it was purely ai that brought me back to my base that easily but I want you guys to take a look at the haul that I had. I only had 16 total iron. I was able to stack away now with over 48 regular iron with even more that need to be smelted down in my metal smelter. I do believe that I have enough bright core for that. I also now have over 50 total sapphire, which is probably too much if we're just being honest. I don't know why we need that much sapphire in the game right now. Hopefully there's an update that requires us to actually use the sapphire because right now we just don't use it for all that much stuff. We got even more arctic claw. We also got some more frost shell, which is going to be very important for making ourselves even more totems. And we got ourselves three cursed bone wolves or three cursed bones which is going to be awesome to have in this game because that's going to help us make even better charms overall i think that this haul was absolutely amazing for us we got so much done in really so little time so i was going to record my outro but then i saw that my cow was kind of uh i don't really know what he's doing back here they're spawning to my right they're running in the backfield i don't i don't know what they are doing in this game but my animals are messed up. But nonetheless, guys, I'm having a ton of fun with this Let's Play series and getting myself kind of built up here in the expert mode. I'm working on getting even better at making these videos as well. As you guys know, I've never made Let's Play videos ever, but this is my first attempt at them and I hope that they are continuing to get better for every single one of you guys. But overall, hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, this was Crafty and I'm out. Um, and my cow is also out. Peace.